to the principles of honesty, trustworthiness, fairness, and respect for others. Hello, good morning. Welcome to this vlog. I am literally staying outside. Obviously, you guys already seen my morning. This is the week of orientation. It's a lead week, um, which is just basically the law school orientation for Duke. And yeah, it's all on Zoom. And we just did that, um, like the Duke oath or something and it was absolutely hilarious because everyone was talking at once um we had to unmute and do it all together and it was just like everyone's wi-fi is at a different level it just sounded crazy so we're all laughing like in the group me right now because that was funny but i'm outside um right now there is a break for 30 minutes i'm still trying to convert time from um eastern to pacific i need to just type that in and have that up because let's see so i have to be there at 9 12 30 12 30 12 p.m um eastern to pacific which is 9 a.m so i have to be there at 9 30 for me for the later portion but right now we just did um like dean's welcome we did like uh, an alumni speaker and then now is the break so all day i'll be here until 2 p.m sitting here and doing orientation i really decided to go like business casual so at first i had this top and it was off the shoulder but today's like a very like very cloudy day today in Washington a lot different from the last couple of days that has just been really sunny so it's really cloudy and it got super cold so I just decided to put my my jacket on and also I have like a blanket underneath here honestly definition of business casual what are they gonna do give me detention I, I don't even think there's a dress code for this but yeah i you can take your break in the virtual classroom which i guess there's like this app called remo and there's like a virtual place that you can grab a virtual seat <laughs> but i'm just deciding for this break to just kind of i need to get even warmer so i think i'm gonna put sweats on i have my tea i might probably want to like rewarm that up while i have a little bit of time i'm charging my laptop right now because the battery on it is really like weak and stupid but i'm charging that i might as well just show you guys a couple of big girl purchases i made uh like two weeks ago and i'm really excited about them because they're so fun so i decided or made the decision to transfer from taking notes like typing notes and also writing my notes to just digital note taking so i bought an ipad you guys um for this upcoming semester and i'm just really excited to be using it i've been playing around with it for the last couple of days since i got it i got it sunday and i'm just really excited it's so fun this is the ipad air i think it's the newest one the 2019 one or something like that it's 10.5 inch and i was debating between buying this and the ipad pro but my other big girl purchase is a macbook pro because this laptop that is over there <laughs> that's charging i got this one for literally like five hundred dollars in 2017 when i i think my google chrome like died or something and i needed something for class so i got that and the problem with it like i just mentioned is that like it just dies sometimes and the battery on it is just not that good like it needs to be replaced like so you can see it says condition replace unit it said it for like the last year but it just needs to be replaced and i it can't be replaced so it just dies when it gets to like if i'm lucky when it gets to like 40 then it's still up but sometimes it'll die at like 60 or die at like random times and i just didn't want to have to deal with that especially since everything is now online and i just don't want something to like shut off while i'm taking like a test um law school tests tend to be like four hours plus so i just want to have a reliable computer so i also bought a macbook pro but i'm most excited for this one right here because it's just so fun 
I spent the last day or so just setting it up. Mostly yesterday, I set it up. I have a little screen protector on there. It's like a paper uh, texture screen protector. Not paper-like, but someplace from Amazon, which I will link because I actually like it. And then I've been just basically on good notes trying to um, get everything set up. I have like all of my classes. They're all their own folders. And in it, there's also like things like the outline, the reading notes and also the lecture notes so when that starts happening it'll go there and then i bought this really cute planner um from this um place on etsy it's just like really fun and it's beautiful i picked this one because it is more like minimal looking and cute and just more of like my vibe i she did like an update and she sent me the update even though i bought like an older version she sent me the update and it's awesome because it's very like the the links the hyperlinks i think they're called is really nice so you can just look on the yearly overview and then click august and then that takes you to the monthly overview where you guys can just kind of see my schedule and if you click the weeks here it takes you to the week and then you can click the day and this is today that's about to pop up and you can see like the schedule and it's just really it's just really fun like i really really love this i enjoy it so much i can't wait to start just like writing my notes and obviously here i have my apple pencil this is just like the first ever apple pencil i don't know what they call that like the first generation apple pencil i also got airpods with them for free from apple and i just want to say sorry to anyone who has ever said anything bad about wearing the airpods because this is so fun and so useful like i can't help but like click my case because it's just like everything's just so fun but it made um this upcoming semester so much more exciting because now i have like new staff to mess around with but anyway how much longer do i have a couple minutes all right cool let me just get set up outside again this virtual orientation is very different first of all it is live as you can tell and you can tell by our day one orientation is finally done i just made myself some lunch really quickly it's just a bagel um, with this little veggie patty. It's the Trader Joe's vegetable masala burger. It is vegan. I don't know why it doesn't say vegan. Oh, it does. It's right there. I'm dumb. I've never seen that until just right now, but it's so, so, so good. It's because it's so well seasoned. Sometimes when I'm feeling really lazy and I don't want to cook, I'll just like cook some rice, put this on top of it, like mash it around and then like cook some um, like broccoli or something. And it just makes like such a good dinner, but I just put it on top of my um, bagel. I have some of this dairy free mozzarella style shreds on top of it and also just some like mix of, of veggies there and I'm just gonna eat this while I watch that chapter which is like my favorite thing on YouTube right now it's like a true crime type of thing <laughs> um, where he just like it's this Australian or Canadian guy who just talks about true crime and I like the way that he talks about it so I just watch all of his stuff as you can tell I've like watched a bunch and yeah that is what we're doing for lunch so when I say Gamper, I mean the dad. When I say young, I mean the human. So around this time of having his son in 1996, Gamper was also having it. Just finished lounging around for about 30 to 45 minutes. And now, bright lights. Now I'm gonna go to a hike actually because I like redid my workout schedule. I think that's just something about having like a planner that makes you wanna get your life just together. But I did my workout schedule and last week I did my um, cardio day, which is basically like today in the gym upstairs. But um, it was just because it was really hot outside. It was like 90 something degrees and I did not want to like go out. Like obviously I want to be doing that outdoors. So today it's like the perfect weather. I'm gonna head off to the park that I went to in the last vlog because it's like right there and I'm gonna take one of the little like um hiking trails that they have and just be out for maybe like an hour maybe two hours depending on how tired I get I just want to do my cardio outdoors nothing too heavy just walking I don't like doing heavy like hit workouts as much when it comes to like running or something like that. I don't like that so we're just gonna do some like easy nice 
nice walking for about an hour or so and then I have to come back have work to do actually I have some readings to relook over for tomorrow basically just prep work for tomorrow because you need to do readings for orientation which I've never done before I thought you know you just do like icebreakers which today was the icebreaker but i actually have class tomorrow so i need to go over the reading for that go over anything i may have missed and then i have a movie i need to watch it's for thursday but it's like a two hour long documentary so i just want to make sure that i get it all done um take notes if i need to take notes anything like that and yeah that should be it but let's get active <laughs> Hello friends. today's portion of orientation or lead week it's currently 6 51 and the first session starts at 7 a.m so it's not that bad this is actually pretty generous considering the fact that when i actually start classes next week my first class is at 6 a.m um, because of the time difference so i have to wake up at 6 for like my criminal law class um so that should be fun i'm trying to that go to bed early um yesterday or for the past two days like monday and tuesday i went to bed i was like i was in bed by 10 but i wasn't asleep until like 10 30 10 45 which is just not the point so i'm gonna try and be in bed by like maybe 9 30 or 9 like this week is just kind of like experimentation and what works so i can wake up and feel rested because monday wednesdays and thursdays i have to wake up at 6 a.m and have everything like the readings done all like the assignments done by that time because usually people review before class um but i don't have that luxury i mean i guess i could but i don't want to wake up at 5 a.m to review and i have my own little like morning routine like i wake up I meditate I do kundalini yoga for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I like go about my day so I want to make everything stay intact so good morning happy Wednesday I just made myself some coffee um, and then I put oat milk in it and it just turned into like oat milk flavored coffee but I'm kind of scared of coffee like it makes me jittery and I haven't had coffee in a really long time so I think I'm just going to like pour it in as I drink um so that it's not too bad also I diluted it when I made it so it's like it's not the worst thing ever I'm just getting prepared and ready for today's session i'm so in love with my entire like ipad <laughs> setup so excuse me if i keep showing you guys but you can basically see my entire week right here or my entire day the plans that i have today i wasn't able to meditate this morning so i'll probably do it sometime later on in the afternoon but yeah lead week starts at seven so i just need to get set up for that i think for today i'm just gonna set up on the little couch right here because yesterday i was outside and it just was really really cold i have my like little um case that i had to brief for today so i have like the brief summary i also went ahead and highlighted some important facts that i thought were important and also just like rule of law the issue the court held all that stuff for briefing um this is five pages which i guess isn't like the norm usually so this was an easy case brief at least it wasn't 20 pages for the orientation so for that i am glad I'm 
literally in law school what the heck they out here cold calling on the first day thank god they didn't call on me because after that i just realized that my briefing um was not up to par and that i just didn't know a lot of the information that he was looking for i didn't have it written down like i had nothing and then um it wasn't like at the top of my head also this little baby right here made me so nervous when he started like calling on people because i just started shaking and I just, I just had to use the restroom right now because i got really nervous i'm still kind of shaking it's the coffee and like the nerves that was scary but also very thrilling um, and now I feel a little bit more prepared. So I wrote down a bunch of notes about what he said, like what he was calling people to answer. And they also have like a, I think they sent us like a PDF of a book, like an excerpt to a book about how to um, brief cases or look at cases. So I'm gonna go over that specifically to add on to the information, but how scary. I have a 10 minute break. What time is it? 56 i have a couple more minutes and then i'm gonna sit back down and then we have another session but that was really scary i'm pretty sure i'm like fucking shaking right now marching them with the notes you took before class from your case briefs so that you have everything in electronic format i feel like i'm going to have to turn myself into some sort of machine or something because it's only day day two of orientation and i already feel like there's not enough time in the day so i was doing my orientation stuff all day stopped around 1 30 to 2 and then went grocery shopping at 3 and we just got back put everything away and now i'm gonna go work out um because i couldn't do it in the morning obviously i woke up really really early and um i want to get a workout in today i'm trying to motivate myself like i really want to just kind of take a shower lay down eat dinner do some meditation and journal they go to sleep but i'm trying to get myself back into the grind of working out especially since there is like a gym up here um so i'm forcing myself to do it and i do have my pre-workout like sitting right there staring at me but if i want to reach my goal of going to sleep at a decent time like 9 9 30 i can't take pre-workout now because it's 5 p.m and i will definitely keep you up so I'm just gonna have to power through. I went to Trader Joe's, I bought these mangoes that I like to put in my yogurts in the morning and I'm just gonna have one of those or two for a pre-workout with the natural sugar and the carbs. Hopefully it peps me up, gets me going because I'm tired, I think I'm so tired but I'm just glad today I don't have any sort of reading done because i mean reading to do because i don't have anything done due for tomorrow I, I can't even think but i don't have anything due tomorrow i do have something due friday and then i have to do more reading on starting friday saturday sunday monday for my classes starting uh monday tuesday wednesday whatever like the rest of next week so it's just it's kind of getting crazy um but on friday i have homework so i have to do that um, tomorrow and then yesterday I didn't get to watch the movie because I was too tired and I started falling asleep and so I'm gonna try to do that today before I have to go to bed it's just like where is the time <laughs> where is the time anyway cheers last night so i'm just taking a little stroll to this little edge of the forest right before you get into the forest to do some deep breathing because it smells so good out here like the trees just smell so good like the water i don't know it just smells amazing this morning i woke up and i wasn't able to do yoga because i slept in and i slept in and i mean i woke up at 7 instead of 5 40 so sleeping in <laughs> and i didn't get to do my yoga or like my breathing exercises even my meditation this morning i didn't get to i'm glad i got to sleep though i will say that i am glad for that but i didn't get to do any of like my usual morning stuff so i'm just taking some 
some deep breaths because you know we've got another day of orientation today I am definitely tired this week or today. I'm currently making a pot of coffee. I've drank or yeah, drank, drunk more coffee this week than ever, like in a consecutive amount of days ever in my undergrad. But I'm making coffee right now and I drink like the whole pot too, so it's like really scary. Um, but I think that's also the reason why I have not been able to meet my goal of going to bed at a decent time um, Like I get to bed by like 9 30 and I stay up until like 10 30 11 Which isn't very good and then I wake up throughout the night. So I'm, I don't know what the Middle ground is like I want to be up. I want to have energy I want to drink coffee if I need to but I also want to be able to go to sleep So I've been trying to kind of like stop drinking coffee like before 12 before noon so that it doesn't continue to affect me because for the last couple days i have been drinking it throughout the day like i'm just kind of like gulping it down throughout the day and i don't think that's doing me any type of favors so i'm going to try and stop doing that um today is actually friday so this is the last day of orientation i didn't vlog thursday because it was essentially the first like the first day all over again um i had a bunch of things to do on zoom and then i when i got off zoom i had like a two hour break before i had to get back on zoom so i went back to the state park and went on a hike this time i took my boyfriend because i realized that it's probably not the safest thing for me to be alone in the woods as like a woman um well being a woman alone anywhere really really isn't too safe anywhere but unfortunately but i figured if i get hurt in the woods somewhere um I can't call for help because I don't have like reception out there literally deep in the forest so we went out and we did that and then we came back I hopped back on zoom for two hours to do something else for orientation and then um, I took like an hour break I had some readings to do and some homework to turn in so I did that um, and then I just tried to go to sleep I was so like that was my workout yesterday too um i think everything in combination is just kind of like coming together in like the weirdest way because i started working out regularly now and that includes lifting even if it's not as heavy as i used to do it i'm still experiencing dom syndrome or doms which is just like when you get sore after the fact like you might work out on monday and then you don't get sore until like wednesday and then when it hits you it hits your body um, i've been experiencing that a lot because i've been working out and actively working out also the waking up early they going to bed late to the coffee i definitely have zoom fatigue already um so i'm just really glad that i decided to stay here that's the main like con like constant is that every time i just like look outside my door and i see all this forest i just go to the state park like eight minutes away and i can just like take a hike through the forest it's amazing yeah that's basically the catch-up to vlog thursday because there was really nothing new or exciting to vlog or say um that also got me thinking about content wise i'm pretty sure a lot of you have already picked up on the cues that this channel is very much a chill channel i try to make like make sure that the editing is aesthetic and pleasing and all that stuff but it's very much just chill i just do me um and i show you guys what i do and that might mean when i go out sometimes and also might mean that I don't and now it means that I don't because um, obviously I, we're not on campus so I don't have the luxury of showing you guys you know campus life and all that stuff because there is no campus life right now there really isn't um, so I'm just I'm a little worried about that just because obviously that's the whole point of like weeks of my life college or weeks of my life law school um, most of it's gonna be just me sitting and reading and then sitting and getting in class and case briefing and then case books and then all of that stuff so I want to make sure that you guys know that I will obviously try to go out when I can. Um, it's now 7.54, I need to be on Zoom at 8 and I need to make my coffee so I'm gonna do that and then get on Zoom. This morning, 
Assistant Dean Stella Boswell and Director Kim Berger from the Office of Public Interest in just woke up from a nap that I don't remember taking so that's awesome I'm very confused right now feeling very slow and the fact that I could take a nap after finishing that entire pot of coffee is just testament to how tired I am how tired my body is but I finished my actual class and orientation is over and I had class to like finish it off and it finished like a 12 30 and then it's now 2 15 and I just woke up from my nap and yeah I was hoping that today we would, we would be able to go see something new um, I was originally planning to go to Point No Point which is like a beach and with like a lighthouse and like a park about an hour away but can't because I took that nap also today is the day that I would like to start doing my readings for next week just so I can not have to one cram and two have the like the opportunity to be unprepared so I want to like split up my readings specifically through days so I'm not doing readings for like two to three classes on the same day because i feel like just that's just setting myself up for failure so i'm trying to do where i do like today when i get out of class so early i can like do my readings for like one of the classes, and then um saturday i'll do my readings for another and then sunday and so forth and so on so i i know the content and i'm not cramming so i don't think i'm gonna be able to do that because of that and also because it is raining it's been raining all day um so i don't think we'll be able to really see anything if we go to point no point because of the way that the clouds are right now that's just very heavy and thick and the covering everything like can, i can barely see the mountains because of the way that they are and the fact that it's raining so i'm just gonna save that for another day um took notes on my ipad too for the first time in like a lecture setting and i will say that i kind of fucked up a little bit um by not charging my apple pencil so i need to remember to do that um so i didn't charge it and it kind of like died halfway through the class which is fine because they weren't really saying anything for me to really write so this is just basically what i did is just kind of like include chart of life cycle of civil action and i know where that is a rule type so to be included there and i know that it's on page 36 of my readings and my readings are right there and then just like notes of things that were important and things that she said were important to write down and um i just need to go back and just make it into something that i actually want to look at and it really should not take me long um and then from this point on when i actually do take the notes it probably won't be like this i'll be a lot quicker it'll just come with practice so i need to get in more practice of note taking um and then today again like i said i have I want to start my readings for my criminal law class. I also have finally got my syllabus for one of my professors and he like has a book on there that wasn't there before and it's required and now it's sold out everywhere so I'm hoping that I can get it somewhere some way and that that's not necessary for the first couple of classes because if it is that's going to be kind of troublesome but we'll get through it together. It's <laughs> just um need to get everything done i'm gonna go sit outside and do some reading um do my notes because it's raining and it just sounds really nice and i just want to be outdoors doing all this stuff <laughs> 